practical problem is that we have delegated enormous power to AI. And then wrong video. Oops. Here yesterday uh, or a couple of days ago, he had on Sagar and Jenny and uh, Crystal Ball. They are the hosts of Breaking Points, which is a political podcast, which is just fun. To listen, it's, it's interesting work to listen. Uh, Crystal Ball was doing a full scale defense of Ilhan Omar being a raging Jew hater. And uh, Joe Rogan, being Joe, was was riffing. And as he was riffing, he just sort of dumped out a a idea. Of okay, I don't care about this stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's going to defend Joe because he likes Joe Rogan and he wants to go on his podcast. Okay, here. Now being, a, she, her face was a... Do you think that that's actually what Ilhan Omar was saying is not true? Okay, Ilhan Omar, when she said members of Congress, using men's tweet. Okay, so this obviously has gone viral. I know Joe well. Joe is not an anti-Semite. Um, that statement is... He mentioned Shut the up. thing, not the first thing. That's what I will assume from that, because again, I know Joe. Okay, other things that I hate. So, uh, there's been this, uh, this story about a Twitch star who apparently was now being, uh, she, her face was essentially grafted onto AI pornography. So, as a not fan of pornography, as a person who thinks that pornography is one of the scourges of Western public life, I have a lot of sympathy for this person. So, her name is QT Cinderella, that's what she calls herself. Her real name is Blair. And she was a victim of deep fake porn. So people pasted her face onto a pre-existing adult video to make it look like she was appearing in the pornography. And people were making fun of her because she was emotional about this. Here is what she sounded like. If you are able to look at women who are not selling themselves or benefiting off of being seen sexually. It seems, it feels so weird seeing Cutie Cinderella on The Daily Wire. It's gonna feel doubly weird when Ben Shapiro ends up defending her. I don't know how to feel about any of this right now. I'm going to be honest. It's just like, it's like breaking my brain a little bit. What an odd, strange timeline. Of course, the reason why Ben Shapiro is going to be defending Cutie is not because like he cares about women. Of course not. It's because he is anti-pornography, but you know, they're broken clock, they're I guess. They're not selling it. They're not platforming it themselves if you are able to look at that you are the problem you see women as an object you should not be okay doing that and it should not be a part of my job to have to pay money to get this stuff taken down it should not be part of my job to be harassed to see pictures of me nude spread around it should not be Something that is found on the internet, it shouldn't be. That's That shouldn't be a part of my job. And the fact that it is, is exhausting. And to the person that made that website, I'm going to f sue you. This is what it looks like to feel violated. This is what it looks like to feel taken advantage of. Okay, so people are making fun of her. I saw some on the right, some on the left, people making fun of her. Uh, my sympathies are all with her. Yes, she was exploited. Yes, she was violated. Yes, there is something deeply wrong with taking a person's face and posting it on another person's naked body and then pretending that, that person engaged in pornography. But there is something that our culture refuses to say here, and that is that pornography is bad. It is bad for the person who is acting. It's kind of gross that, like, he's just using this to just, like, hammer in an anti-porn slant. You know what I mean? Like, he, he did he don't give a fuck about this story he doesn't care about like the victims he doesn't care about like the exploitation he doesn't care about women being treated as like objects of desire he's just like porn is bad and immoral actively consenting to porno the pornography it's bad for the person who is utilizing the pornography it's bad for the person like this person who is caught apparently in the crossfire having nothing to do with also the title calls him gamer girl cries over being used in deep fake porn which is like very yucky the way he's covering this you know and I'll be back in a second. Pornography, But you can say it is bad for people to make pornography and to consume pornography. It's okay to say that. On a moral level, it is a bad thing. Pornography is not a net positive for society. It is not a net neutral for society. It teaches men to treat women as sex objects. Obviously, this is the case. And whether women consent to it or not, it is still wrong, by the way. It's particularly wrong for her because as she says, I, I didn't even consent to be part of this, and now you're treating me as a sex object by pasting my face onto nudes of somebody else. And she's totally right about that. But we can also add that even if she had consented to it, which she did not, it would still be wrong. <laughs> bro, bro, dude, I love this. It's awesome because like, the reason why Cutie Cinderella is upset about this 
is because it undermines a woman's wishes. It it objectify it it sexualizes a woman. It objectifies a woman against their consent. The primary conversation should be around consent. But of course, immediately Ben Shapiro sidesteps from consent and delivers a scathing hot take that again devalues and destroys a woman's right to choose to do whatever the fuck she wants with her own body. Like, his anti-pornography take is so insane that he has to fucking run around and be like, it, women should not be able to consent to pornography. It's still bad. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He's still turning around and basically, like, uh, he, he's still turning around and basically stating that, like, this is not supposed to be about, uh, you know, women's consent when the entire conversation is. He's like, no, women should not have the consent. Women should not be able to consent to these things that I don't want them to do. Because I think it's immoral. Weird. Not supposed to see each other that way, ideally, which is why we used to confine sexual activity to marriage and commitment and love. And now we no longer do. And the wages of that are an incredibly destructive culture that, that catches innocent people, like this person, in the crossfire. Well, the internet can be a perverse hellhole, but the reality is that the internet can also be your best friend. This is why we love the internet. So for example, it is via the internet that you can preserve your family memories. This is what I've done via Legacy Box. A legacy Box is great. Oh my God. Okay, is there more? That you. Is across you know, the problem there. Oh no. The, oh my God, the rest of the video, it, this is just like a brief stint. Okay, let's watch the, the, the trans. And we pretend. Uh, the trans. 